Hey guys, in this video we're making the best elastic knot for thicker threads, so one millimeter threads and upwards. Bigger threads can be really tricky to tie and pull tight, so I've got my own little knot I do that I'll show you. I also have a video for knots on thinner elastic cord, so I'll link that below. For a bracelet I use 30 centimeters of one millimeter stretch magic elastic cord. I use one millimeter elastic for heavier and bigger beads. So from about 8mm gemstone beads and upwards. First up you want to pre-stretch your elastic. This is super important with the larger threads. So stretching it out and pulling that pressure on and off to give it a really good stretch. I place a clip on the end so I don't lose my beads. Then I place all my beads on. So I'm using 8mm amethyst beads. And I'll bead it down to about 18 or 19 centimeters. I like to use a feature bead with a bigger hole so that I can hide my knot underneath. So this is a 6mm bead with a 2mm hole. If you're using this technique, your feature bead needs to go on either first or last so it sits right next to the knot. Now you can take your clip off and making sure your elastic is nice and stretched. Then we can get onto our knot. Now we start by overlapping our cords with this left side cord on the top. Now we bring this top cord around that right side cord one time. That makes a nice simple twist in the middle. Now comes the complex part of our knot, but please stick with me. I'm going to show you two times. Now bring this left side cord around and under itself to form a little loop. Now gently holding that loop there in my left hand. Now with our right side cord, we're going to bring that up the loop and then around the back of the other cord. It's a little bit fiddly, but try and hold that loop in place and bring this cord around the back of that other cord and then place it back down the loop. So it's quite simple, but it is quite fiddly. It is actually a bowline knot if you know how to tie one of those. So you've got quite a complex little knot now and we've got this little twist down underneath. So we want to try and gently pull this original twist down so there's no slack in your elastic. And then we can gently pull this top more complex knot down onto that original twist. Pulling that knot down nice and tight and working with it until it's secure. I'll just show you the knot again quickly. So starting with your left side cord on the top and then bringing it around that right side cord once to form a twist. Now position yourself so you can bring this left side cord around and under itself to form a loop. Holding that gently, then with our right side cord, we bring it up the loop, around the back of the other cord, and then place it back down the loop. And then pulling your knot down nice and tight, and working all the ends to pull that knot in secure. I'll swap back to the original bracelet to show you how I do that. Now we want to pull our elastic cord in every direction out from the knot. So pulling on both of these ends and then pulling on the bracelet side of the knot as well. Working that knot gently and pulsing that pressure to work a little bit through the knot. This is the best technique I've found for these bigger threads because this knot has so many little connections on the middle and it helps to stop it from slipping apart. You should be able to check your knot now just by gently pulling those beads open and if it's nice and secure it should stay in place. If you're happy with it then you can cut your tails nice and short and then I place some hypo cement jewelry glue onto the knot and then slide my little feature bead over the knot to keep it hidden. And there's your best knot for using on thicker elastic cord.